Hello everyone, today I wanted to share with you guys how I get my black water into my soft water tanks. This is what I use is this peat moss here. It's all organic. I got it on eBay somewhere. But uh what I do is I get a big bag of this and I have these two fifty-five gallon drums and I keep one with just clear RO water. I got an RO system. The line comes all the way up here down into the sink here. This is my utility sink where I wash a lot of my nets and stuff. And uh, yeah, so as far as that, runs over down to here. And then in this one, I have the peat moss. This is where I end up dumping all my peat moss into. That way I can get it all brown, let it settle. Kind of needs recharge right now. It's kind of clear. And um, what I'll do, I'll show you guys how I add the peat moss in it and everything. Now I'm going to use about a third of the bag, half the bag, just dump it in there. Don't mind my cat, he's gone crazy. Just opened up these boxes, got some new lights in. Meow. He's a wild cat. There we go. There's a little tie in there he's playing with. Yeah, I got a couple of Dessa lights for the new rack I'm putting up for the salt water shrimp. Well, are you alright? Alright, but anyways, back to this. Thought I'd share that with you guys. It gets a little wild sometimes. So now I got the peat moss in here like this. Don't mind these cat boxes. I got five cats along with all these fish. Kind of a weird combo to keep. But yeah, the best thing to do, what I, all I do is I get, I just get down into it and, I mean some people could use sticks but it'd take forever. Peat moss actually kind of needs mushed up a little bit to really settle in. You could just sit there and let it float if you really wanted to but it takes a long time. So I usually do this with both hands and whenever you, see, you don't get too dirty if you can get a good spot there and bring your hand out it's not too bad but yeah i'll just try to push it up against the side mush it in the way it all falls to the bottom what i'll do after this settles too then i need to mix some in with the clear water i got a hose that i'll stick in here so i can just siphon it over into the other barrel that way I can kind of get the tint that I want. I can go dark if I want. I can go light if I want. Just depending on the ratio I mix it in. Another thing I want to show you is how I get the water to the tanks. I just ended up getting a submersible pond tub here. Or a pond pump. Um, and I had to do a little custom fixture here on you cut uh, put the hose on to the filter or to the pump and um, it's just like a little valve and a little coupling that I can screw it onto and yeah I just got hooked up to a python here so I just stick that in there and put it in whatever tank I want got a little speed gauge here so I can adjust it same with on the python has a little check valve and uh, yeah that's how I get it into the tanks now essentially when I was uh, squeezing this as you see now it's a lot thinner but essentially what I was doing is getting the air bubbles out of it so it sinks more and just get it waterlogged and saturated 
but as you see you can't get it all but there's hardly anything there so it'll just take a couple days before it all settles and even if it doesn't settle in time it'll be alright because it won't really get into the barrel because when I put the hose in it it kind of sits mid-water that way it doesn't suck the peat moss out from the bottom or the top and that's all folks Another one of the jungle cats just hanging out. That's the panther. That's the jaguar.